However, Joe Namath has been known to come back from behind. He has the great receivers. He's had time to throw the ball. There's the offensive unit, offensive backfield, and the ends for the Jets as they move for the first time here in the second half from their own 28-yard line. Riggins, the single setback. Namath is nailed as he delivers the ball and is in and out of the hands of Jake Scott. And Joe Namath was really pounded. Bob Matheson coming on the blitz for Miami. Matheson, who plays in that famed 53 defense, he lines up as a defensive end, he lines up as a linebacker. That time he came and really belled a name it. We might draw it, we might trap it occasionally, but we are going to throw it. Name it, dumps it off to Reagans in the flat. Turns the corner and gets out to the 35-yard line. Hit there by Tim Foley. Gain of seven yards. Out to the right is Jerome Barkham. Number 83, Knight is 82, the tight is Rich Caster, 88. The Jets need three. Damon unloads to Caster. He has the first down. He's over the 40 to the 42. Doug Swift made the tackle, but Namath was trying to go out to David Knight. He was well covered there by Dick Anderson. He had time to pick up the secondary receiver. The Jets get the first down. Two with Green Bay, three of course with Miami. First and ten for the Jets. They're on their own 42. Name is eight of 16, 109 yards. Goes out tonight. Knight has the completion. He's at the 49-yard line. Gain of six. Gain of seven. And one thing about it, if you give Namath time to throw the ball, he still has the super arm. He's lost the mobility that second down and three. Jets have run off 24 plays in this game, 17 of them passes. Riggins trying the right side, pounding. Runs into Nick Bonacani. Bottom of that pile, number 85. He gets maybe a yard. It'll be third down and two. Nick Bonacani tackles. Dick Bonacani read that play real good and Red Dog right into that spot. Lawyer. Third down and two. The Jets tried to run a similar situation earlier in the game. They didn't make it. They go again with Reagan. This time there. he makes it. And he's inside of the Miami Dolphins 45. Dropped there by Dick Anderson. Remember some boozer checking out as we look at that play again. Reagan's in a play designed to go off tackle. There's Boozer out in front of it. Reagan's knows what he needs. Two yards. Puts the head down. Bulls for the first down. He's the only jet ball carrier of the night. He's carried nine times for 20 yards. First and ten for the Jets. The ball just inside the 45 of Miami. They trail 14 to nothing. Reagan's open in the flat. Lateral over to the pass. Incomplete. Very close to a lateral. I think on that occasion it was just as fortunate it was incomplete, Alex. Greasy is 72% tonight. Doing his homework on the bench as the Jets are faced with a second down and 10. Reagan's this time and he holds on to it. And he has another first down inside the 35 hit by Mike Cole. An 11 yard pickup. I'll say it again, if you give Namath the time to throw the ball, he's going to hurt you. But he's using that short, dumb stuff to his back, and I'm surprised Miami isn't defensing it better. Well, you know, they've, they've said that the Miami's been vulnerable to the outside, either with the swing pass or just the sweep to the outside, and they were even talking, Foley was talking about in the papers today about their their problems on the, on the outside, not really getting that, first, uh, that real strong uh, outside uh, help that they usually get. 
Jets grinding away here at the beginning of the second half. 12 minutes and four seconds remaining in the third quarter. Miami, as we have mentioned, the total control in the first half, but they only got on the scoreboard with 14 points. Four wide receiver offense in for the Jets. Little Eddie Bell replacing Edison Booth. He's going to swing it again. Riggins again, and Matheson bounces off Riggins. And Riggins now, five receptions, 64 passes. He's been the only running back for the Jets all night. Second down and three. Ball up to 27. This is Emerson Boozer. First carry of the night. Nailed at the line of scrimmage by Bill Stanfield. And Mike Bullen. Using mainly that dump and swing stuff that we've discussed, Alex. Now let's see what Namath does. Third down and three. Inside the 28. Riggins gets the call in a big hole. Outside. Riggins knocking over Miami Dolphin tacklers, really giving Jake Scott above as he moves inside the 20. He'll mark it at the 16. 13 yard pickup for John Riggins. Now, Alex, that's what Johnny Riggins can do. He can turn that corner. The Jets have a choice of drafting either John Riggins or John Brockington, the latter from Ohio State. They went for Riggins because they thought he had more speed, more speed to, the to turn the corners. That's right. Indeed he has. In high school, this young man, well, he didn't weigh 235 then, but he ran a 9-800. So you know he can move. Jets moving the ball on the ground and in the air. They still fail 14 and nothing. Namath moves Boozer over into the set throw backfield. Riggins and slipping one tackle. Doug Swift stops Riggins just at the line of scrimmage. 10-14, Glott moving in the third quarter. Second down and 10. Ball to 14 of the Miami Dolphins. Namath going out to David Knight. Complete. Knight is inside the 10. Tim Foley during the coverage. Knight picked up five. It'll be third down and five. So far, the Jets have made Three third down plays in this drive. The first of the second half. Jerome Barkham flanked at the top of your screen. Regans. This will be six. He did it again. That was a beautifully engineered drive with the Dolphins. Just a reverse of a first half. Now we've got a ball game, Gipper. Bobby Howfield for the conversion. 72 yards in 14 plays for the Jets. As they shorten the Dolphins' lead to 14 to 7. And let's take a look at that touchdown a few moments ago. Namath picking his spots, hitting Riggins several times on this drive. Riggins set to the right, comes across. The Dolphins were in the prevent defense, his own defense. Riggins just beyond the line of scrimmage and then just powers his way in. And there's where Sucky was shaking mm. up. You don't have to wonder why, because Riggins is a big dude. You better give Barkham, Woods, Rasmus, and Mulligan and Pute some uh, some really uh, good plaudits too, because they're doing a fine job up there blocking. Uh, uh, 